Welcome to my parents' basement, aka the Museum of Antiquated Computing. First exhibit. I don't know if you remember a time when computers were this big. We've got a sense of scope by looking at the size of the headphones. This was like a tower computer as of, I don't know, probably sometime in the 90s. Gateway 2000, does that ring a bell? With the analog joystick. I don't think PCs usually have these things anymore. Yet, despite the huge size of this tower, um, note the tiny size of the monitor. It's kind of standard. Going back a little further in time, we have, oops, try to keep my shadow away from it, the uh, Atari 2600. This isn't the very first generation, but it's pretty close. This thing is old. And of course, we don't have the um, original joysticks because, as everyone knows, those would break all the time but we do have these nice third-party knockoffs. And, um, you know, for a minute, so this is like a little box that you use to switch between your game system and cable, and I was thinking, hey, why throw this out? I could use one of these things, you know, for the uh, Xbox, until I realized it was all coaxial cables! So completely useless, at least for me. Uh, we also have a assortment of extremely old computer game boxes. Um... Some ancient Ultimas, Ultima 4, which I think I bought in high school. We have, wow, now this thing is old. Ancient Art of War. I think this was like the first real-time strategy game. And it was for the PC, back when PCs were all called IBM computers. I wonder if this will work on anything. I might just have to take this for uh, research purposes. But anyway... So we have all these really, really old games. SimCity, Seventh Guest, remember that one? Um, Impossible Mission 2. It's funny because I don't remember there being an Impossible Mission 2. I do remember Impossible Mission 1, which was a really good game. Tetris, or as it is pronounced in Russia, blah, 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 blah. Wow, this is some old stuff. And as long as I'm down here, I might as well show you the room that used to strike terror. Dehumidifier, can't be without one of those. Um, I'll show you the room that used to strike terror into the hearts of my friends and I, which was the boiler room, which really could have been the site of eight or nine Stephen King novels. Now, unfortunately, from the standpoint of scariness, the old boiler is gone. It used to be this huge thing that looked, looked like a stone Frankenstein. And uh, that's pretty much... Yes, I am. Oh. No, I'm making a documentary. Um, 